hi guys welcome back to my channel um so i didn't do a video yesterday i was absolutely worn out i think um the traveling and the funeral on friday took it out of me completely um so there was no video yesterday <clears throat> but there'll be a longer video today um i've decided to do a bit of a whip parade um I've actually got a big pile next to me I didn't realise there were so many until I just sort of picked them all out but uh, yeah so I thought this might be quite interesting to see all the things that um, I have sort of started um, and some of the things will be things that I've started from ages ago so you know it I might not even remember anything about it. Some of them will be counted. Um, most of them will be stamped. But some will be counted. That I started a good while ago. And by a good while, I mean probably two, three years ago. So, let's just dive in and get started. Okay. So this one, all I've written on it is that I got it from AliExpress. So we'll know more details once I take out this. Um, it's a 58 by 78. Um, I do believe, because it doesn't actually say in this booklet, it doesn't, if I remember right, it doesn't actually say what count it is. I'm pretty certain it's an 11 count. Because it doesn't actually say. So, that is the picture for this one. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see where we have been up to there's probably going to be lots of clips and things that I'm going to find okay so in this one there are 40 colours uh, and see where I have stitched. I've done little bits everywhere, I think, because <clears throat> we have some bits over here, over here, up this side here. Um, a lot of this, this dark that you see, um, this is uh, 3371, and I've left it there because I've been using it still. Needle is still in it. Um, down here, I have sort of almost completed this bottom corner. There's just a few bits and pieces there that need doing. And over here, I've worked a lot in this corner too. Um, although, yeah, I remember this one now. Um, I was a bit concerned because... Um, This purple bit here is supposed to be like flowers and it is this bit here that looks absolutely nothing like flowers. So yeah, I was a little bit um, put off by that if I remember rightly. Um, so I think that may be why I put it away. I'll leave the clip off this and I shall just fold it. So I've worked, I've, I've done quite a bit on that one, but um, yeah, I think I got a bit disheartened by the fact that, um, uh, you know, it didn't look anything like flowers as I was expecting it to. Um, and the threads for this didn't come on a thread card. They just came as skeins. So the, the thread cards were in the kit and you have to sort of do it all yourself. So 
that brand do seem to do it that way. Um, yeah, this is from probably a year ago. This one. So um, we'll put ones that we've looked at down that side. Okay, next one. Um, right, so all I've got on this one is that it's from AliExpress and it is a horse. Let's see. Again, it's the same brand as before. Um, all of the threads came in skeins. Uh, let's have a look. And that is the picture for this one. Yeah, I can't remember how much I've done on this. It's like I may have done a little bit. <coughs> And be careful with these because I don't know if I've left any needles in them. As I just discovered in the other one, I did leave a needle in that one. And there is a needle in this one too. So, um, let's put that in there. Again, this is the same um, type as the other one. So there is no... Um, it doesn't say what count it is, but I believe it's an 11 count. Um, okay, so what have we done on this one? I have, oh, pull that out there a bit. There we go. There's 25 colours in this one. Um, I've worked, let me just check. There we go. I've worked a little bit over here, a little bit up here. It's just all sort of the confetti type bits that I've done up there. Um, and then down here in this corner, sort of started filling in some of the bigger bigger pieces a little bit. Um, and then over here, again, confetti area over here that I've done with a couple of colours. So not done a lot on this one. I thought I, thought I had done a bit, but I haven't. Um, and this is a 58 by 78, this one. And as I say, it doesn't actually say um, what count it is, but it looks like an 11 count. I would, I would definitely say it's an 11 count. So, yeah. So that's that one. There we go. Um, and that one is from about a year ago again. Um, about the same as the, the previous one because I think I sort of got and started all the ones um, of that type from AliExpress I think I got them all and started them at the same time or pretty much the same time so here we have another one this is another one from AliExpress um, and I've just written on it Cabin Lake Mountains check these some of these are going to be as much of a surprise to me as they are to you because i won't have seen them for a while okay so the picture's a bit rubbish but that's the picture for this one and it's 48 by 58 i think this is sort of goes back to when i first started getting um stamped kits and I didn't quite realise sizing for stamped kits, you know, they needed to be bigger, I think. Um, yeah, so this came um, as skeins as well, and it doesn't look like I've done very much on this one at all. So, let's have a look. And we've got a needle in this one as well. I'm good at leaving needles in things, aren't I? So it would seem. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I've hardly done anything. Um, a little bit down here, this dark patch here, um, some confetti across here, and that's what I was working on. 
by the looks of it with number 413 looks like I was working on excuse me some confetti parts there and there are 30 colours and this one 48 by 58 so I've not done very much on that one at all Here. Okay, so what is this one? Um, this is another one from AliExpress, and all I've got on it is space. No clue. Your guess is going to be as good as mine. Okay, so I used one of my smaller um, zip bags to put the threads in with this one. Um, I'm trying to take out all the clips that have been left in in things. There we go. Okay. All right. And that is the picture for this one. It's uh, 58 by 78 again. Same um, brand as the others. This bag's all got a bit smushed up. Right, so I'm going to take this hoop off. Naughty of me to have left the hoop on it. Very, very, very naughty. Oh, there's a needle as well. Very naughty of me to have left the hoop on it. And there's a clip there too. Let's take that off. Okay, so. Right, yeah, on this one, I've hardly done anything at all. Um, literally just this little bit in this corner here this uh, dark and then there's a blue coming in and then there's a lighter blue there which is but i believe is this one that i'm using uh which is 809 so yeah and the needle is here so let's let's do this it's very warm already today so yeah that's that one that's literally all I've done on that one I started in that bottom corner and I didn't do I haven't done anything else so yeah not a lot done on that one at all okay so that's that one I believe I bought that one um to do for my son because he loves space and stuff so i thought it would have looked nice on his wall but he'll probably get it when he's 25 he's 14 next week so yeah it's probably going to be about 25 when i actually complete it and he gets it and he'll be like mum i'm not into space anymore i'm not a 13 year old boy but i'll be like well you know mum tried <laughs> So, okay, on to the next one. Um, I'm just looking now to see what, what it's going to be. Okay, so this one was from FG Normal. It's an 11 count, and I have called it Magic Garden. So let's see if we have... Oh, that's nice of me. I've left the needle in the thread there. See if there's a bigger picture. Yes, there is. Let's sort this out to show you. So that is the picture for this one. Uh, it's a 40 by 70, 11 count. Lovely, lovely picture. Um, we have 44 colours in this one. I am sorry guys, so sorry, totally not paying any attention whatsoever to where my hands are or anything else. Okay, we've got clips on this one too, just take these clips off. I'm going to have an abundance of clips. 
Oh, and there's a needle in it as well. And there's also a needle there. Right, so, yeah, not done very much on this one either. Um, literally, down here in this corner, these um, the blues here, purple and this dark colour. I think it might be black, that one. Um, and then we've come across and done some in this corner here. Um, and then up here, I've probably gone up to um, you know, finish off a, a thread, finish off the thread that was on my needle. So yeah, again, not done very much on this one at all. And I don't understand why I've got two needles threaded, but hey ho. Um, these all, all the threads for this one came on a thread card on thread cards, so I didn't have to. Um, yeah, I didn't have to. Start sorting anything with that. Um, now this one, I think I have put in a bag, but I don't believe I have actually started this. So let me just check. Um, that is the picture. It's a forty-six by. Oh no! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! 46 by 56, actual picture is 40 by 50. Uh, I'm taking that from, that's what that is. Um, and it's a 14 count, this one. But like I say, I don't believe, oh, and it's a counted as well. It's also a counted. Um, so let me put the threads in here. Out of the way. Uh, no, I haven't started it blank canvas so I must have just put it in the bag just to I might have thrown away the original bag so but I'll put it in a bag to keep it safe sort of thing so yeah not started that one so I do apologize folks um, okay we have this one now this this one I've not written anything on it um, I may have got this from either AliExpress or Amazon. This, I believe, is the very, very first um, very, very first stamped kit that I bought. And this is the picture. I planned on doing this for my daughter. Um any information on this sheet very little information um uh, 48, yeah, 48 colors in this uh it doesn't even say on there what count it does it say on this one 14 count 31 by 37 so it's not a very big one um yeah so now this one seems to be um, a foreign brand, but it does look an awful lot like um, the Joy Sundays, the way it's laid out. And then on the back with the instructions and things, same sort of bag as you would get with a Joy Sunday. So a bit strange, that one. Um, this needs washing. But yeah, I'm not, I don't think I've done very much on this one either. I've done the feathers here and here. I think when I first got this, um, I got it because I thought, oh, I'll try a stamped one. And because I was so used to doing, um, oh, you can see better on the back there how much I've done. Um, because I was so used to doing counted, I don't think I got on with this one very well. Um, just purely because it was the first, the first stamped kit that um, I started doing and it's, it's a big difference to go from um, counted all the time to to a stamped kit it's it's very different um, so I don't think I got on with it very well and, and that's why I kind of left it because this one I've had for a while um, but yeah like I said I, I think that's why that one sort of got left uh, because it was a bit strange, it was all a bit strange to me. Um, I 
have written absolutely nothing on this one. So it's going to be a surprise package <laughs> for everybody. Ah, I know which one this one is. This one. Oh, it's so cute. It's adorable. I don't usually do adorable, but yeah, this one is lovely. I couldn't resist. It's the uh, pastel birds. It's a 40 by 56, 11 count. I fell in love with that picture. I just thought it was lovely. And the colours. Oh, I think it was the colours that did it for me. Um, let's see. Oh, we've got threads everywhere. Hold on a minute. We are this way round. So, um, on this one, it looks like I have started ooh, in this bottom corner here and I have worked that symbol all the way up the side, all the way up here to the top. Um, and then I have continued on over here. Uh, filling in some more of that symbol so it looks as though I've literally just picked that one and, and gone for it because that's all I've done oh and there's a little bit of a lighter pink here to apologise which I believe is this green symbol it looks like so that will be that thread that's sitting there so yeah, not done a great deal on that one. Um, let's take these out of this bag here. Put them in here. We didn't need that other bag. So I we'll have to write on that one. Okay, next. We have my peacock. Uh, not worked on this um, for a good while. Um, do we have a big picture of this one or um, ish? <laughs> it's bigger than the thumbnail that's on the corner anyway. So that one there. But I do believe I've done quite a bit on this one. Although I haven't worked on it for quite a while. Um, I'm not even sure if there's a needle or anything in here. So we'll just open it up very carefully. Wow, I have done a lot on this one. Wowzers. Okay, so this one is a, a 100 by 45. It is an 11 count and it has 50 colours so yeah I have done this here in this corner um, all of the, the sort of thingy around here and the background there um, I have done this bottom corner here um, some of the female peacock I've done um let's keep keep on going and then at the top here some more background colors and i've started to fill in the eyes on the feathers um quite a bit of the the male peacock done here again more background um some more of the the flower bushes and things there. Oh, oh, fold over. There we go. And then up here in this corner, this is some more sort of flower type things. And yeah, some I've done some of the blue there as well. So yeah, I've done quite a bit on this one. You can tell by the back <laughs> that I've done quite a bit so it's probably not that far off being being finished to be fair I should get back to it at some point and um, 
make a concerted effort to finish it off. That could end up being a uh, finish for 2023 if I pull my finger out and actually do some work on it. Next one. Um, Victoria Wharf, 11 count, 100 by 37. Now I know, I know for a fact that the picture on this is absolutely terrible. Sorry, not the camera again. It's awful. Um, but I do believe that most of you know um, what Victoria Wharf is anyway. It's another one going around like a bit like European Town. Um, so yeah, this has 50 colours in it, this one. And again, I've been a naughty girl and left the hoop on it. And I have clips in here too. Let's get rid of those out of there. Okay, let's take the hoop off. There's no wonder I can't find any hoops and I keep buying more. They're all on my project. Um, okay, so, oh, God. Stop leaving hoops on things. So, we have worked up here uh, with these blues for the sky. Um, some a little bit down here. Yeah, been mainly the blues. That I've done on this one fold over move along yeah I've come all the way across by the looks of things on those blues filling them in as I'm going and um, this number 50 I believe is 3865 yes it is that's why it hasn't got done because it's just white, or an off-white, should I say. So yeah, this is an 11 count, 100 by 37. Yeah, so. Not a massive amount done on that one. folded up and if you've noticed I always fold my pre-stamped um, with the picture inwards I don't know why I do that but I have always done it I just feel it's a little bit safer um, to store if the picture is sort of inside the folding instead of on the outside of the folding just in case there's any mishaps although there really shouldn't be inside these bags these bags are absolutely amazing they're fantastic love them i've got so many of them um okay next one this is what i've it is 11 count 42 by 60 and i have named it beach heart again i've left a hoop on it Naughty, naughty. I don't believe we have a big picture. No, we don't. It is just this little one here. So, I think I've done quite a bit on this one, if I remember right. Um, see if there's any clips in there that need to be removed. No. Let me just take the hoop off here. Oh, and there's a needle left in it, folks. Wouldn't be me if I hadn't left a needle in it, right? Okay, so let's get this unfolded. This, yeah, 11 count, 42 by 60. Okay, so up here, I have done quite a bit. Ah, I think I remember talking to you guys about this one. Um with these colours that have been put in. I didn't quite understand where they were fitting in, you know, because they, they just seem out of place. Um, I suppose we'll see when we carry on, but uh, yeah. 
So I've done this here. Um, started doing the white <coughs> because that is 3865. Um, and then here we have the shell starting to take shape here. Um, yeah, again, this brown sort of colour doesn't really make sense. Do you see what I mean? It's, yeah, it's not, it's not making sense. Um, and then there's another shell down here and one of those um, pearls done some of the, the, it's the sand. This is here down at the bottom. So yeah, there's a few colours in this that don't, don't quite make sense to me. Um, we'll have to see when it's finished, I suppose, won't we? Um, but you know, this is where us, us YouTubers, um, you know, that do the stitching, that have the stitchy channels, um, this is where it's useful for, for you guys because obviously you see us buy these kits from different places and you know, we present them to you and show you what they come with, how, what, you know, how they look and, um, you know and then in some cases you get to see the finished article so you know you can make a an informed choice then as to whether you want to do it yourself um you know because obviously if you see a picture that you really really like um and it doesn't actually end up looking anything like the original picture that you saw then there's absolutely no point in getting it you know if they don't look right then there's no absolutely no point at all why waste your money let us guys do that uh, oh how kind of me i haven't written on this one big surprise for us both folks big surprise oh hang on i'm this is a 16 count yeah 16 count 50 by 65 um, I did make a start on this and I found it so hard. I really did. But I mean, I'll, I'll get used to it, you know, I will go back to it. Um, this is the picture. It's an awful, awful picture. But it's a, a house, you know, there's a couple of roses and some butterflies. A tree over to the, the right hand side there. So, yeah. Uh, there are 40 colours in this. I don't think I did very much at all on this. Did I leave the needle in it? Yes, but I actually put... <gasps> look, look at me being a good girl. I actually put it like this. Oh, what a good girl. So, yeah, I have started in this corner here and that's literally all I've done. Literally all I have done. And the stitches are so tiny. So, so tiny. <sighs> yeah, I just sort of, I've just picked this out and um, started with it just to see. Just to see. I mean, I have got an 18 count and how on earth I'm going to manage to do that, I will never know. There is one of my subscribers, um, I think it's Lexi. Uh, we both have the same 18 count picture and um, I think it's going to take us both uh, a little while to pluck up the courage to um, to start the 18 count. We definitely need a good magnifying light um, to start that one. So, yeah, that was that was quite difficult what I had done on the 16 count. It was, I will admit. Um Okay, let me see here what else have we got. Okay, we have three more folks. Well, four if you include the one that I'm working on at the moment. Again, I haven't written on this. You know, I seem to have been good at this at first and then it just sort of 
dwindled off, didn't it? And I stopped, I stopped writing on them, which is naughty of me. So this is the picture. Absolutely stunning picture. Really, really nice. It is an 11 count, 40 by 56. So not huge by any stretch. Um, again, do we have a needle in here? No, I don't believe we do. And all I have done is down here in this corner. Ooh. Down here in this corner, um, I've worked some of this. Um, some of the purple up here has gone in. And a few confetti stitches over here and sort of dotted around there are 35 colors in this one and number 23 is i think it's gonna be 939 isn't it yes that's dark blue all this blue that you see is dark blue so yeah not a lot done on that one the majority of these kits i will have gotten from um fg normal <laughs> The ones that I haven't written on. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, not written on this one what it is, but I believe this one is accounted. And I think this is an Alice in Wonderland picture. Just give me one second, get out all these papers. Um, yeah. See, this is what I do uh, for my counted. Um, I print them off um, and then I colour them in with pencil um, because that way if I make a mistake I can rub it out, I can erase it. Um, yeah, so that's what I do with um, my counted cross stitches. So. This is the picture. It is Alice with the caterpillar sitting on a mushroom. Uh, it's a 14 count, 60.4 by 71.1 or 54.4 by 65.1. Now I haven't worked on this for quite some time. Oh, and there's a needle in it. Oh, and it's all dirty. He. It's a good job these get washed, isn't it? Yeah. It's not stained or anything. Why won't that go in there? Thank you. Okay, so there we go. This is the top here. Um, this bit here where it hasn't been stitched, that's not meant to be stitched. Um, it's meant to be, meant to be left white. Um, so then we'll come down here to this where the mushroom comes in. Um, there's the, uh, the carpet or the, the rug or whatever it is, blanket that he's sitting on the mushroom and there is the start of the caterpillar's body here uh, and then down here we just have sort of the rest of the mushrooms and the background and things so yeah, I haven't worked on this one for a long long time long long time So, yeah, and I can't remember where I got it from, probably, probably Amazon or AliExpress, no, probably AliExpress actually with it, with, yeah, with it being like that, it'd be AliExpress that I got it from, because I'm a big Alice in Wonderland fan, so, so. 
I wanted to do an Alice in Wonderland one. But then I believe I stopped doing this one when I got Ambilight. So I put this one down and started doing Ambilight. Now I haven't found it at Ambilight to show you. Um, so, uh, last one, folks. This one is from FG Normal. Uh, it is an 11 count and I have called it Girl. Could be anything. Could be anything. I remember. I remember what it is. Let's see if we've got a decent picture. I think we have. Ish. So this is the picture for this one. Do you remember this? I haven't worked on it for a while. Slowly unraveling, just in case I have a needle somewhere. <laughs> I don't believe I have in this one. Okay, so um, down this side here, I've done some sort of small patches, a few confetti stitches. Um, over here, I have started in on her dress. Um, with some background there, which I believe from the picture should be like... Um, Sort of dark bushes and flowers. I don't see any flowers appearing to be fair. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and then a bit further up. Just to show you. This is the man's hand. Coming in. You can't see. And I'm so sorry folks. Um, yeah this is the man's hand coming in. Now I find this quite strange. This is another one. Where I don't think the colours are going to sit well because this is the man's hand okay these are the colours in that hand it doesn't look like the picture so uh, yeah this is going to be another one that um, you know we play it by ear and uh see how it ends up looking um, I've worked up the side here a bit um, and at the top here which is sort of this part here um, where the archway is coming in so yeah that's that one uh, this is an 11 count a 50 by 70 and she has forty colors in this one so yeah um, that is all the the whips I could find for the time being um, and I'm actually in two minds as to whether to start another one today actually um it keeps looking at me and um i found it yesterday it was um i have a coffee table downstairs that my daughter bought for me for christmas and it uh, basically um it looks just like a normal coffee table but then you can lift the lid and you've got like storage inside um so i opened that yesterday and i found three kits in there that i'd obviously put away um so yeah uh I've, I've been that one's been sort of looking at me and saying start me you know you want to you know so 
I don't know, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I am quite enjoying working on... Um, oh, I could show you the one that I'm actually working on at the moment, couldn't I? Uh, this is the one that I call a flower vase. Flower vase, sorry. It's an 11 count, uh, 90 by 40. That's the picture. Right, so let's see here. It's upside down, of course it is. There's my needle mind with my needles on. Okay, so you can just stay down there then. Um, I have done quite a bit in this corner up here. Um, down into, this is where I started, into this corner here. Um, some of the green bits now have been filled in. Some of the reds and orangey pinks starting to come in. Um, yeah, over here and we've got some background here um more of the reds and the pinks starting to come through now um oh there's a needle there and i am now working at the moment in this corner here so um how many colors do we have for you 50 again in this one so yeah this is the one that um is my current whip the one that i am currently working on um yeah I'll be careful pressing this because there is a needle in here somewhere <laughs> and it will be just my look that i will stab myself um what in there to so keep it safe and everybody together so yeah that's my current whip and that's the one that I'm sort of working on all the time uh, but like I say I'm tempted for a new start <laughs> oh, I'm bad I'm terrible absolutely terrible um, so yeah that's um, a whip parade for all of the the whips that I could sort of find there there are more I know there are more because I can think of a couple like Ambilight for example I'm not sure where that is um and there is another another one another big one um as well that I've done quite a bit on um I'll find them you know I haven't done anything to them they haven't um like disappeared or anything you know so it's just they're in the house somewhere, but um, my house ends up a little bit like a black hole sometimes. Things just go missing and then, you know, you'll look and look and look for it. And then when you stop looking and you no longer need it or you buy a new one or whichever, uh, things turn up. So, yeah, we will... We will find it. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Sorry, just moving all these back because if I don't, I can't get out <laughs> of where I'm sitting. Um, I'd sort of block myself in there a little bit. So, I hope you enjoyed this video um, of my uh, whips that I could find. Um, yeah, thoroughly in, uh, thoroughly enjoying this one at the moment. Um, yeah, but like I say, that other one is is calling to me. Um, I may just have to give it a start and see how I feel, and then if you know, I can always come back to this. Can't I? I couldn't come back to all of them. It, you know, they're not going anywhere. No one's going to take them away from me. So you know, there's, I can do them whenever. You know, no rush. They're not presents for anybody 
they're just for me um so yeah there we go my whips <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video folks um if you did uh please give it a like um and if you haven't already could you please consider subscribing um and if you can think of anybody that um you know might enjoy my videos please share me along to them and we'll grow off I'll grow our stitchy family here on this channel um last check before i started this video i had um 75 subscribers so we're getting there folks we're getting there um and i do appreciate every single one of you whether you comment or not or you know i do appreciate every single one um you know and for those that interact with me that do comment and you know we have a little bit of a chit chat back and forth you know thank you so much um you know it the support is amazing it's blowing me away it's fantastic i'm so appreciative i really really am um so yeah this is me for today folks um i hope you all have a fantastic sunday um it's very warm here where i am so um i'm going to get myself changed and take my little doggy out for a very quick walk um yeah and then come back and do very little because it's too warm <laughs> okay folks thank you so so much for watching and i will see you next time okay bye bye take care